Hello to all my brothers and sisters. It's Pastor Paul Anderson from the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship that we believe God's blessings never stop flowing. Shout out to all of our ministry partners and all of you. Uh, I want to take a quick moment to say congratulations to Minister Angie uh, G. Payne, uh, who on this past Sunday we ordained. She is now Reverend Angie Payne. On this Worshipful Wednesday, we have a whole lot to give God grateful praise about because he's been so good to us. And in, in lieu of that, uh, this text begins to help us to see how God does powerful things in our lives. In Matthew's Gospel, the 24th chapter, verses 45 through 51, um, is a very powerful passage. It talks about how God can leave some people responsible to carry out a task. I want to ask you the question, as I ask myself the question, can we be left in charge of things? Have you ever thought about going away and leaving something in the hands of someone? You know, when, whenever you do it and you're not certain about the person's abilities, you always wonder, I hope they did it right. I hope they did this. I hope they did that. And, and you frequently check in with the, to make sure everything is good. But this passage is one that talks about responsibility. It talks about a person who has a, a ownership of some things, a leaves for a while and leaves it in the hands of someone. And this passage is one that talks about how God has allowed his son Jesus to come to this world to do the great task of going to Calvary's cross, dying for our sins, being buried, resurrected, ascended to the Father, and making intercession. And he says, he leaves to us the keys of the kingdom. And this, pericular, and this particular pericope, it talks about how God has given us a work to do, and he's gonna hold us responsible. He's gonna give us accountability for things. You know, many times when people leave us accountable and leave us responsible, especially when you know they're gonna come back and they're gonna check out what you've done. You always wanna do a good job. I don't know about you, but as a child, whenever my parents gave me something to do, I wanna make sure I did a great job. Whenever my siblings ask me to take care of a task, I wanna always make sure I do a great job. And you know, when God called me into this ministry, I said, Lord, I wanna make sure I do a great job. So all of us have a responsibility. It might be for guiding a congregation. It might be responsible for uh, the Bible study lesson on a Sunday morning. It might be responsible for just calling to check on people to see how they're doing. This passage begins to help us to know that God wants to know how responsible can we be over the little things he's placed in our hands. You know, oftentimes we forget it only takes just a few minutes to do what God has called and asked us to do. And we have to do it with the greatest amount of faithfulness. This passage lets us know that when we do what God has asked us to do, when he comes back to do an inspection, he's going to say to us, well done, thy good and faithful servant. I don't know about you. We're coming up on the season of Thanksgiving. It's almost a week away. It's a time in which God gives us great things and we have to tell him thankful, how thankful we are that he has given us the responsibility to serve and the opportunity to serve. I hope you know that God can trust you with the greatest gift that's ever been given. You know, the greatest gift that I think the world needs right now is love. So God has given us love. Let's be responsible in sharing that love to everybody that we meet. On this Worshipful Wednesday, worship God because he loves you and let's love him back by sharing his love with the world. God bless you and I look forward to seeing you on Thursday. To sow a seed to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, visit our newly redesigned website, thefountainofraleigh.org, and select Sow a Seed from the homepage. Also, giving has been made easier with the new Fountain of Raleigh app, available now in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Download today, select Giving from the main menu, and then follow the directions to complete your giving through Subsplash. Thank you so very much for your prayerful support and all the things that we have done in ministry to help so many others. We thank you so very much for your generous support in times past, and we thank you for your present support and what you will do in the future. May God richly bless you exceedingly and abundantly above all that you're able to ask, say, or think according to his power at work in you. God bless you. Okay.